Hello and welcome to Holton's Fix-It 101. Now, I don't think this machine needs that much in the, the introduction, do you? Welcome back. Now, as you can see, I'm in front of this and what a beast it is. Now, this is the Axminster Craft AC-118CE, bit of a mouthful, dust cyclone dust extractor. Now, what can I say about this machine? Now, I needed some better extraction in my shop because it was the, the extractor I had wasn't cutting it really to be honest with you so I went out and I got one of these and what a difference absolutely what a difference now as you can see it comes on this lovely red frame don't particularly like red but you know it comes on a red frame and it which holds all this uh, extraction part all in place so let's just go over the just go over the quick features of it I just said about the frame, but it, there's the impeller up there. It's housed in this part here. And this is an absolutely huge impeller. The f biggest one I've ever seen for like a, a workshop environment, you know, home workshop environment. There's the motor on top. Now the motor is a 1500 watt and my calculations, if my, if my calculations are correct, it's just shy over um, two horsepower. So plenty of power to actually run this impeller that's inside here. There's a cyclone down in here. This is a cyclone. There's a dustbin down in here. And I'll give you a better picture of, or show you a better view of that. Um, any other dust that comes off of, off of here, the small, you know, very, very small um, pieces of dust goes into this chute here that hits this filter that goes into another dust bag that's down in there and I will get you a better picture of that as well. Um, so there we are. What can I say about this machine? Being two horsepower though, you are able to run it off of the normal 240 volts, 13 amp that most people have in their household environments. So it's, you know, you can run it off your normal household electrics. You don't need any special um, extra power or you know anything like that to run it it's all there now I have seen people online that have used this um, in a central location unfortunately in my shop I can't have central dust collection because I don't have the room to put it in so I have this all mobile and it's very very good for my, my, my thicknesser my planer and my, my router table it sucks all the dust away and I don't have any of that going into my lungs anymore. So what a machine this is. Now I'll get you a better close up of this machine and uh, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Right now here we are, we're in close up mode now and uh, right, we'll get you a better picture. There's the dust bucket in the bottom. As you can see, it's fully plastic as you can see there. And there's the dust bucket down there or the dust bag down there. And as you can see, there's hardly anything in that dust bag. And I've been using this and I've emptied this uh, once or twice already. And there's absolutely nothing in there at all. And here's the filter. As you can see there, there's a, it's quite a big filter. And uh, I'll bring, bring it to see if I can get it in focus for you back here. And it also, as you can see, it has that lovely lever there. And what you do is you turn that lever and it allows the brushes on the inside to clean the filter for you as you can see it goes all the way up there into the impeller and there's the picture of the cyclone of, of it now I'll get you a picture around the back I will go around the back 
and it isn't much as much to see around the back much the same as what you see around the front of the machine it's all the same really and as I, as I said it all runs off the standard 13 amp plug that you can see there but there's there's a picture up there of the a view rather of the um, uh, start stop button and everything else and there's the um, uh, motor so the only other thing is that you know when you get this it has to be all assembled together and I'll put you back on the stand and I'll stand in front and uh, I'll get you I'll explain what I mean about that now as with most machines as you quite well aware uh, when you actually buy them from wherever you're buying them from this particular one came from Axminster down in Devon uh, now when you get them they this one particular one came in three huge boxes now I say boxes two of them was in boxes one was in a crate um, all this was pre-assembled here um, but I had to assemble this part and the cyclone and the base for the cyclone and everything else um, and the frame came in another box but um, the and and the filter came in its own box as well but as for all these things and everything else there are not for a little bit of tillivating to try and get things right as you can see this the bolt I got bolts in here which are hex bolts you probably can't see it on screen there quite so much but you probably see it in the previous uh, uh, view there I've got hex bolts in here now they provided us uh, with some allen bolts um, and they they weren't quite long enough for, for going actually through this piece of steel through the piece of steel that's actually preed uh, drilled and threaded behind um, it didn't actually go through uh, into the back of here how I would you know I would have liked it I would like to have gone through a little bit further so I had to provide my own bolts for that um, the bolts that's actually put in the uh, the uh, casters on the bottom as well they were they were shorter than I would have liked I would like them just to be a little bit longer so I had to provide bolts for that too um, these sort of things that you you know you have to get over some sometimes if you don't like the the bolts that they provide then you have to provide something you of, of your own um, you know I wish they would start putting some longer bolts in there but this is just one of them things um, now one of the things that I got to mention here is this bit of unit here uh, this allows you here to take that off there so you can actually run two uh, 100 mil pipes and it you and you can also cap that off so you can only use just the one um, it does allow you to do that or you can take this off completely off of here and you can use a 125 mil pipe brilliant machine now I'll spark it up and we can actually see it running and everything else and I will put some stuff uh, put some dust on the on the on the bench here and suck it up so you can actually see how well this actually works So as you can see, very well. Here we go. I'll just put some uh, sawdust in it and you can actually see how well this t picks up. Gone.
Right, I've just connected this up to my router table so you can actually see the suction that it actually puts through this actual table itself. And knowing that it has all that suction, you'd be able to take all of the dust away from all the parts, that, especially down in here, and what you can take off the top of your here and from the fence in here. So I'll switch it on and we're, we're get, we're, we're, we'll try that. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of suction coming down through there and it will take all the debris away from your, from your router table. Well there we go, that's the Axminster AC118CE Cyclone Dust Extractor. Now, since I've had this in the workshop, I've had hardly any dust to uh, clear up on the floor. It's all been sucked up by this machine and you can see it all in the dust bucket or in the dust bag down below. And it's a welcome sight because I know that if it's in there, it's not in the environment. I'm not sucking it up in my lungs and it's a lot better for me to actually work in my workshop. So I'm glad that I got this. It's not a cheap item, I granted, it's not the most cheapest uh, uh, dust extractor on there, but you get what you pay for, and I'm, this is well worth the money of what you get. Um, you do actually get the Y connector on the, the black Y connector, as you can see, uh, but you do not have, or do they do not provide you with uh, a dust um, hose to, to actually connect up to your machines. You have to provide that yourself because they don't know what, you, what your needs are. This happens to be a pipe that I had around and it just serves the purpose. So it's good for me. And it does all machines, and especially my thickness planer, because my thickness planer generates a huge amount of dust when I'm running, running wood through it. And it just takes everything away and it's all in the bottom of the bag. So I'm glad about that. Now. If you like this video, please click on that like button. It's just coming up there. And uh, please subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, because anything like that really helps me. The more subscribers I get, the happier I be in our TNL. I love doing this to explain things like this to you. And uh, if you want to contact me on the usual social media channels, they're just coming across here now. Here we go. There we go, just over there. So um, if you want to contact me on those, please, you're welcome to contact me on any, any of the social media channels and leave comments down below because, it, and, you know, positive, negative, doesn't really matter. Great, whatever. But uh, there's also an extra icon, as you, can see, uh, as you saw on there as well, which is to my 3D warehouse for SketchUp models. Um, and uh, you're quite welcome to have a look at that as well. And uh, there we go, it's just up there. And uh, I do a lot of uh, like 3 sketch SketchUps of um, stuff that I've actually built in this workshop. And they're all downloadable for free, and we all like free. So let's, uh, go, let's go and have a look at that. And uh, I will see you next time on the channel. So, bye-bye.